best interest. The central figure behind this scheme was none other than Mr. Wayne LaPierre, the national face of the NRA who was entrusted with running its day-to-day -day operations. Mr. LaPierre exploited the organization for his and his family's financial benefit and the benefit of a close, close circle of NRA staff, board members, and vendors. Specifically, Mr. LaPierre spent hundreds of thousands of dollars of the NRA's charitable assets for personal private plane trips for himself and his family, including extended family when he was not present. He visited the Bahamas by private air charter at least eight times in an approximate three-year period with his family at a, at a, at a cost of more than $500,000 to the NRA. He traveled on multiple luxury hunting safaris in Africa at the expense of an NRA vendor. He spent millions of dollars on unwanted travel consultants for decades, including for the booking of luxury black car service. In the past two years alone, Mr. LaPierre spent more than $3.6 million on these travel agent services. He secured a post-employment contract for himself with the NRA without board approval, currently valued at more than $17 million. He allotted several million dollars annually in NRA funds for private security costs for himself and his family without sufficient oversight on their use. He received more than $1.2 million in reimbursement in just a four-year period for expenditures that included gifts for favored friends and vendors, travel expenses for himself and his family, and membership fees at golf clubs, hotels, and other member clubs. He even secured lucrative consulting contracts for ex employees and board members worth millions of dollars. Yet often it resulted in little, if any, actual work. In addition to grossly misusing these funds for personal use, Mr. LaPierre created an, an illegal pass-through arrangement to conceal the very nature of these expenditures. For decades, Mr. LaPierre and the founder of Ackerman McQueen the NRA's longtime advertising firm, had a practice whereby Ackerman McQueen would pay for these non-contractual, out-of-pocket expenses for, La, for Mr. LaPierre and other NRA executives and pass those expenses through to the NRA. These expenses would then be paid for by the NRA without written approval, without receipts, without any supporting business purpose documentation. Ackerman McQueen would aggregate the expenses into a lump sum amount and then bill them to the NRA without any details on the nature or purpose of the expense, completely in violation of state law. These expenses did not comply with IRS requirements, and as a result, all such expenses should have been included by the NRA in taxable personal income for Mr. LaPierre and other recipients. In 2017 and 2018 alone, just two years, Ackerman, Ackerman McQueen was paid more than $70 million. A significant amount of these funds included payments through this side agreement. And when board members challenged Mr. LaPierre and the three other defendants over this lavish spending, their financial governance or their leadership of the NRA, Mr. LaPierre retaliated and turned the board against those who attempted to challenge his illegal behavior. The complaint lays out numerous other instances in which Mr. LaPierre, Phillips, Mr. Phillips, Mr. Powell, and Mr. Frazier 
and other executives and board members at the NRA abused their power and illegally diverted or facilitated the diversion of tens of millions of dollars from the NRA.